Hey guys, boy this guy can't decide in the background, right? <laughs> so, I've never done a top 10 before, and I thought I'd jump in on the bandwagon of Pokemon Go. Just like everyone else. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, they're real, and they're spectacular. What were we talking about? Without further ado, it's time to Pokemon Go! Yeah, into this top 10 list. Uh, about Pokemon Go. The top 10 pros and cons of Pokemon Go. Pro. You can nickname your Pokemon on the fly whenever you want. You don't have to go see a guy to go get their names changed like you would in the games. Imagine having to do that in real life. Well, Pidgey, I may have been able to nickname you Mr. Feathers, but at what cost? At what cost? I even nicknamed a few of my Pokemon. Douche Hair, Wow Mount, Bill, Many Necks, Same, Head Boobs. What were we talking about? Con, where the game does a freezy thing right when you're trying to catch a Pokemon. Bro, everyone is playing this game. It's exciting in a strange way to see new life breathed into the franchise. Sure, that happens in its own way amongst Pokefans every time a new Pokemon game itself comes out, but this is like a whole new wave of Pokemon love. Almost reminiscent of what it was like when I was a kid and Pokemon was brand new. Con. Now, while everyone playing it is a pro in its own way, it is also seen by many as a bit of a con. Imagine how annoying it is to, just a few months ago, be like, I'm excited for the new Pokemon game! Only to have someone say, um, wow, you still play Pokemon? Um, wow. And yet now, those naysayers are all like, Yay, I got a 100 CP cater pie! You even have older people jumping in on the craze. I'm talking about you, Aunt Helen. How dare you reach level 20 before me? Now, I try not to be one of those elitists who shoes newcomers away from something I've liked for a long time. So, you know, this is fine. Just please don't let Ellen do a segment on Pokemon Go on her show. She has already, hasn't she? Pro, you get exercise. Con, you get exercise. Pro, the game keeps it within the original 151 Pokemon. This, in my opinion, is good. It keeps the game concise, and can you imagine how obsessed people would be if they had to catch all 700 plus whatever exists now? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure Niantic is prepping Gen 2 Pokemon for when the game starts to die down or something, but for now, I think they made the right decision by limiting it. Con. But hey, can you just like give us Lucario? Just, just give us, just give us, give us, give us Lucario. Just give it to us. Lucario. Right there. Pro. You can curve the Pokeball, kind of like how Ash does in the anime, which is kind of cool. Con. Sometimes it just curves on its own, and... I hate it. Pro. It brings people together. Seriously, if you've gone out hunting for Pokes... That sounds wrong. If you've gone out hunting for Pokemon, you've probably seen this glorious purple confetti surrounding a Pokestop, indicating there's an active lure there at the moment. And odds are, when you go to stop by these Pokestops, you'll find a couple of other players, if not whole groups of them. I know I've had some pretty good experiences running into other players, giving and getting tips on the game, or which direction a nearby Pokemon might be. If you're careful and safe, it's a unique experience to have. Just make sure to go with friends. Con. It tears people apart. Well, okay, not really, but seriously, what is the point of the teams? I know it has to do with the gyms, but was it even necessary? Couldn't we just fight gyms without having to choose teams? But then you see the people who take it a little too seriously, and it's like, okay, bro, all you did was choose a different color than me? Let's maybe put the game down for a second and take a breather. Bro, the places you can find Pokemon are pretty awesome. While some Pokemon are fairly common no matter where you are, looking at you, Pidgey, Particular types of Pokemon are easier to find depending on where you are. You can find fire Pokemon in warm areas, or grass Pokemon near forests and parks, or even water Pokemon near beaches, lakes, and so on. It's a nice little touch that adds just a bit of depth to catching Pokemon. Con. Kids are getting hit by cars! It comes with a warning. It tells you to always be alert and to be aware of your surroundings. 15-year-old Autumn Dizeroth says she did all of that. She was crossing this four-lane highway when she was hit by a motorist. Now, look, I know the brains of children haven't fully developed yet, but I used to be a kid and we were always taught, stop, look, and listen. 
and for the love of Pete, look both ways before you cross, children. Pro, that feeling of, oh, thank goodness, when you can finally get into the game after it's been down all day. Yeah, look at that. That's no fun. Con, this dang screen. Enough said. Pro, now some people may not agree with me, and that's fine, but Pokemon Go is, in my opinion, actually a pretty solid free-to-play mobile game. I am not a big mobile gamer, so the fact that I've paid as much attention to Pokemon Go as I have when leading up to launch I didn't really care about it kind of says something. Also, it's a free-to-play game without any ads. Imagine trying to catch a Pokemon you really need, your Pokeball misses, and then... Yeah, thank goodness we don't have to deal with that. Con, it's got microtransactions. I know, obviously the people who brought us this game gotta make money somehow, which I respect. But when you can totally waste your items if the servers are down, that's when my jimmies get rustled. Which is why I'm not spending another dime on this game until they fix those servers. Except maybe like $5 on Pokeballs, cause I really need them. Pro, in a weird way, Pokemon Go kinda sorta captures what it might be like if Pokemon were real. I mean, think about it. If Pokemon were real, wouldn't you totally show off your findings and newly captured Pokemon online, much like you probably do with Pokemon Go? Wouldn't you go out if you heard rumors from your friends that a Pokemon you were after was at a certain location? I mean, other than Pokemon Go, the closest thing we have to Pokemon in real life are animal fights, and those are illegal, I've checked. While I'm a little weary as to how ridiculously huge this craze has become, as a longtime Pokemon fan, I'm really enjoying myself, and I welcome Pokemon Go to my phone. Oh, and con the spinning Pokeball. Okay, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was just supposed to be sort of a short video for me to kind of test out my new microphone. I hope it sounds good. Ended up being kind of a longer thing than I wanted, but I hope you enjoyed it. I have more top 10s coming, so if you're looking forward to that, go ahead and subscribe so you'll see when they come up. If you want to see another video that I did about Nintendo stuff, I actually have a link right there. You can click on that video and watch it. And then there's another video that I just put out on a game called No Pineapple Left Behind. Thank you guys again and have a good day.